Calculus logarithmic differentiation, a fascinating method for making differentiation simpler in many cases. Firstly, as it uses implicit differentiation, let's have a reminder. Using the principle that if f equals g, then f prime equals g prime. If a function equals another, then their derivatives are equal. So, an example. If y squared equals x squared minus xy plus 5, then the derivative of that equals derivative of that. To differentiate. Now remember that this is with respect to x. So when you differentiate y, you have to leave this dy by dx. Or if you have a y squared, that's a composite function where you differentiate the outside, 2y, times derivative of the inside, dy by dx. So therefore it becomes that. Derivative of the outside, derivative of the inside. x squared, 2x. Product rule, 1 times y plus x times derivative of y, which is dy by dx, plus derivative of 5, 0. Take away the brackets, collect the dy by dx terms, take out the factor, and isolate dy by dx. There we are. A second example involving e to the x plus y. There's a, so we differentiate, differentiate, there we are. There's a product rule, a product rule, and a composite rule. So, x, y to the 4, derivative of x times y to the 4 plus x times derivative of y to the 4, where we say, 4y cubed times derivative of the inside. Notice now this is so much easier than writing dy by dx. Let's say y prime. Plus this one. Derivative of x to the 4, 4x cubed. y plus x to the 4, derivative of y, y prime. Equals this one. Cobb's the function, derivative of the outside, e to the x plus y. Derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Derivative of the inside, we need to differentiate x plus y, so it becomes 1 plus y prime. Multiplying out, collecting our y prime, three terms. Common factor of y prime, and therefore y prime equals. And there is our derivative using implicit differentiation. Now, having a look at this example here, that is quite complex. Let's just briefly have a look at what we'd have to do. First of all, I'd say, well, if we're multiplying three things together, I'll see this as a product where it's that times those. So it's uv, where there's u, there's v, and v itself is wz, but we'll get into that later. So, derivative of u times v plus u times derivative of v, and derivative of v is itself a product rule with composite rules, etc. Now let's have a look at a far easier way. This is still straightforward. I mean, we're going to end up doing one like that at the end of this section, and it's very easy to do using logarithmic differentiation. So let's have a look at how we can do it. So we turn to logs. Logs are unique. So if A equals B, then lin A equals lin B. So if we have Y equals that whole expression, then lin Y equals lin of that whole expression. Now have a look at what we can do. We can separate this out into three terms. Lin y equals lin of that plus lin of that plus lin of that. And we can even go further by taking the 6s, 8, 4 down to the front. Now look how easy that is to differentiate. Differentiating the left hand side, lin of y to differentiate. Well, lin of y would be 1 of y times the derivative of the inside. So there we are. 1 over y for the derivative of lin, and y prime for the derivative of the inside function y. This one, 6 over 2x 
plus 1 times 2, derivative to the inside, plus 8 over x minus 3, times 1, which we don't need to put, derivative to the inside, 4 over 3x minus 2, times derivative to the inside, 3. And therefore, y prime dy by dx equals, and I multiply y up on the other side, and we have finished. So that's out. Let's have a look at another one. Looks terrible, but pretty straightforward. Product quotient. So instead, I'm going to take log of both sides. I'm going to end up with log plus log minus log. Well, yeah. lin of that plus lin of that plus lin of uh, minus lin of that. Well, 2 comes to the front. 2 lin x minus 2. 7 lin 2x plus 5. Notice I've taken lin of the other side too. That's the only way it works. Lin of both sides. And that half is the 2x minus 1 all to the half. The half has come to the front. Subtracting because that's dividing. Using this rule now. Right, 1 over y, the derivative of lin times y prime derivative of the inside. 2 over x minus 2 plus 7 over 2x plus 5 times derivative of the inside 2 minus. That 2 there is the half. 1 over 2x minus 1 times derivative of the inside 2. Multiply up by the y and there we are. Here's this one that I gave as a pretty complex one earlier. So if we take lin of both sides, then this is really all that to the half. So I brought the half to the front. Instead of having a half there, it's come to the front there. Now it's one, two, three factors. Two multiplying, one dividing. So I can divide it up into that. Lin of that plus lin of that minus lin of that. Notice this 2 now, this half, I've taken up and I've multiplied through, got it to the other side for now. Makes life easier. Sin x can come to the front. 4 can come to the front. There we are. Notice we cannot distribute lin to each of those. We cannot distribute lin to each of those. These are as they are. Lin of e is 1. So derivative of sine of x... So now we get to take the derivative of both sides. 2 times 1 over y times derivative of the inside y prime. This is 1. So therefore it's just sine of x. Derivative of sine cos plus 4 times 1 over that for the derivative. Times derivative of the inside derivative of minus tan x is minus sec squared x. Minus 1 over x plus 1 times derivative of x squared plus 1, 2x. And there we are. This becomes 2 over y, which multiplies on the other side as y over 2. And there is your derivative by logarithmic differentiation. Four examples to try. Pause. Try them yourself first. Then on both sides, I've separated out the product, differentiated. Notice the extra 2, derivative of the inside function. Then on both sides, lin of y squared becomes 2 lin y, and I've separated lin of that into the difference. Derived to the inside function, derived to the inside function. This is all to the half. Take so lin of both sides. 3 lin 4x minus 3 plus half lin that. Minus for the division. 8 lin 4x minus 7. Derived of that, there we are. Y prime derived of the inside. 3 over 4x minus 3 times derivative of the inside. That 2 is from the half. 1 over that is the derivative times derivative of the inside 2x minus 2. Minus 8 over that for derivative 
of 8 times ln of 4x minus 7 times 4 derivative of the inside. Now that has a common factor of 2, which can cancel with that 2, leaving an x minus 1. That's why I've ended up with x minus 1. Over that, the 2's gone and the two common factors gone. There is your derivative. Taking lin of both sides, lin of this becomes tan x times lin of e and lin of cos of x. Lin of e is 1. So therefore I'm differentiating sine of y. Inside function is y. Tan of x, that's gone because tan of x times 1. And differentiating lin of cos of x. So there we are. Lin of sine, 1 over sine, for the derivative of lin times cos of y, the inside function sine y, got to be differentiated, and it is a composite, so times y prime. Of course, sec squared x, that derivative of tan x. Lin of cos of x, 1 over cos x, times derivative of the inside minus sine x. And there we are. I'm not going to worry to multiply, and if this was tan of x, I'd multiply in because there might be some simplifying somewhere, but not now.